Good morning and welcome back to the homestead. How are we doing today? So today I want to work here in the blueberry patch. Um, trying to get ready here for the spring. Spring's finally arising. This morning it was 26 degrees. The sun's coming up. It's supposed to get back up in the 50s again today. I mean, it is late March. We still have into early April here, but uh, spring is just right around the corner. So when we first moved in here, they did have these blueberries planted for us. Now, however, the soil here being it is so hard and compacted and just rock, what they actually did was they threw tires around and they planted the, the blueberry bush just in the tire. Um, I didn't really like that at all. I wanted them actually planted in the soil. I didn't like the tires at all. I didn't want the tires around here. So the first thing I did was go through here. We pulled out all the tires and then we start building the soil around here. So what I do every spring is I will come in here and I'll pack this up with a nice layer of wood chips and a little bit of mixture of animal manure. Uh, the goat manure, you can usually use that pretty much right away. The goat manure, anytime a pelletized manure like that, you can use you know, rabbit manure, goat manure, you can use pretty readily that it won't burn or hurt the plants. So today I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up in here. Then if you notice that around the base of each plant, I usually try to put some rocks. That kind of helps the chickens to keep the chickens from digging around around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I got all the roots covered up and now I got a layer of some animal waste and these uh, wood chips. Now these wood chips here, actually the one thing that you wanna make sure that whenever you do have a homestead there, that keep an eye out for the electric company. They come around every so many years and they'll trim back all the limbs on the power lines. And whenever you see them working in your area, just ask them, just say, hey buddy, you know, what are you doing with all those wood chips? Now, they didn't listen to me. I told them, give me as much as they could. They gave me two truckloads, but I guess that's better than nothing. So I got two trucks of free uh, wood chips that I didn't really have to put a whole lot of investment in. So now I got uh, this covered up. So now what I like to do is cover this in rocks. Besides suppressing the weeds, that'll hopefully suppress the chickens. I'm tearing this up. So now that'll uh, help that plan out a lot. And I'm just gonna keep on moving here. You're gonna to have to redo this because the 
wood chips are going to keep composting down and you need to re mulch all your plants anyhow so this here is kind of a little extra effort to give these plants a good start here for the spring For a bigger flatter rock something that'll take up a lot of space there to keep that soil protected from the chickens like this where you just have no topsoil no nothing to start with you, it's all important is about building that soil up you have to work on building that soil up if not you have nothing so here's this little half gap I bought last year now I bought this here I can see that the little leaves here are starting to green up on this thing so I want to go ahead and get this one taken care of next have to wait and see how this one does. I don't see any new growth on it yet. One of the biggest problems is her uh, male goat. We cannot keep him contained. Uh, he just spends his entire day looking for a way out of that fence no matter what. Because he, unfortunately, whenever he was younger, she used to take him around the farm and stuff and let him do different things with her. And now that he's bigger, he thinks that he should still have free roam of the farm. And we fight about it all the time with him about keeping his butt in the fence, but he just doesn't listen. And like I said, the goats are one of the hardest animals to contain. And especially one like him that is just so bullheaded and determined that he will get out every day.
as you can see you start spreading compost around and the chickens come a flocking and the turkeys everybody knows it's feeding time it'll just tear everything up but I'd rather have them out here running around free than caged up somewhere. Well, that about wraps it up. We got about everything done out here. I mean, sometimes to uh, build up the soil, it's a lot of sweat equity on getting that soil built up. And it just takes time and patience. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today. Again, thanks for stopping by the homestead. And I'll see you on the next one.